How's it everyone? Grant here. Welcome back to another camera comparison video. And today I've got the Huawei P20 Pro up against the all new Xiaomi Mi 8. And the P20 Pro has that triple camera Leica branded setup on the rear. And so I'm thinking the Mi 8 is probably going to be the underdog here. But I'll show you a bunch of photos and videos in good and low light from both the front and rear facing cameras. So you can ultimately decide for yourself. And so from what I'm seeing in the front facing camera, the Mi 8 actually has the wider field of view. So you can fit more into the picture with the Mi 8. The image quality looks to be about the same right now, and I'm guessing the P20 Pro probably has the better audio because I've done some testing with the Mi 8 camera and the audio wasn't too good. But that's pretty much enough of the setup from me. Let's just get on with the rest of the photos and video and let me know what you think. everyone so here we are with the usual scene in the park to do my video tests and I've got these both in 1080p 30 frames per second and while the P20 Pro can do 60 frames per second at 1080p and at 4k the Mi 8 is supposed to be able to do it but it can't I don't see anywhere in the settings for it to record 60 frames per second video at either 1080p or 4k so we won't be able to compare those but we'll do comparisons at 30 frames per second here and again this is 1080p and I'll go ahead and pan over to the cell tower and the colors are looking pretty natural on both, at least in the viewfinder here. And I'll test the zoom. So neither of these have actual telephoto or two times optical zoom here. So P20 Pro first. We'll zoom that up to maybe four times digital there. That's halfway or so. And pretty steady, but a little grainy. And full 10 times digital on the P20 Pro there. And kind of out of focus as well right now. So I'm gonna tap to focus that. 
but it's clear and steady and I'll pan over here so you can see what the stabilization is like here at full 10 times zoom and I'll pan it back out and we'll look at the Mi 8 now again the Mi 8 does not have any kind of optical zoom even though it has that telephoto lens so we'll do a four times digital zoom here on the Mi 8 and that's looking pretty clear a little shakier though and full times I believe eight times digital zoom here and yes full eight times digital zoom only I, I say only but that's still pretty far and that's fairly clear but much shakier than the P20 Pro and we'll pan around here so you can see the stabilization as I do that and we'll pan back out and we can test autofocus here on the P20 Pro first and still trying to focus and there we go and we'll focus away refocus is pretty quick and getting this focus there you go is a little slow so P20 Pro autofocus isn't quite as fast I'm noticing and we'll try with the Mi 8 here so much faster autofocus here from the Mi 8 and one more time and we'll go ahead and do stabilization test walk down the stairs so both these should do fairly well at 1080p I would expect as far as stabilization goes and we'll do one last panel on the park here so you can see how it changes or how the cameras handle the changing light there everyone so we are here at the same scene in the park this time being shot at 4k 30 frames per second and again the Mi 8 cannot shoot at 60 frames per second in either 1080p or 4k so that's pretty disappointing there and the P20 Pro is showing a 10 minute time limit recording and the Mi 8 has no time limit recording here at 4k so I'll go ahead and pan over to the cell tower as usual and we'll test the zoom again no telephoto zoom here on either camera so we'll just go digital zoom at about four times digital zoom there on the P20 Pro and that's looking a lot clearer than it did at 1080p to me still very stable as I pan over to the right here and we'll go ahead and test full 10 times digital at 4k and that's really really clear so I think the P20 Pro probably has the clearest zoom, digital zoom, on a phone that I've ever seen. It's also very steady. And I pan over here so you can see that at full 10 times zoom. And we'll zoom it back out. And we'll test the Mi 8 zoom. And we'll go to four times digital as well. Right there, four times digital. Still looking nice and clear like it did at 1080p. And this time maybe a little bit more stable actually for some reason and full eight times digital zoom there and so this is nice but not as clear as the P20 Pro to me and I'll pan to the right so you can see how it handles that at, in full zoom back it back out and we test autofocus here on the post P20 Pro and there we go so see still not the fastest focus but a pretty decent refocus away and not locked so again, P20 Pro, not the fastest autofocus here. And refocus. So Mi 8 here. And the Mi 8 is definitely much faster at focusing and refocusing away. And we'll test stabilization here at 4K. So again, walking down the stairs. Let me know if you see any kind of a difference between how it's stabilized at 1080p, I would imagine. Not as good here in 4K. And we can do one last panner on the park again.
here we are with some front-facing video outdoors. So I just wanted to give you a look at the front-facing cameras in some natural outdoor lighting to give you a feel for that. And right off the bat, I noticed the Mi 8 has a wider field of view here on the front-facing camera. So you can fit more in the picture on the Mi 8 than on the P20 Pro. And at least on the P20 Pro, I've noticed it's washed out a lot of photos and video might be the same. But so far, video's looking a little bit better as far as color reproduction. Maybe still slightly washed out as I kind of pan around here so you can see how the cameras adjust to the changing afternoon light here. And the Mi 8 kind of a little bit overexposing as well. A little bit more than probably other cameras would even in this harsh lighting conditions here. And so I'll go ahead and do some stabilization as well by just walking. So you can kind of see how these cameras stabilize on the front facing cameras here. And hopefully that gives you a good feel for how both these front facing cameras perform.
everyone, so here is some indoor low light footage from the front facing cameras to end this video. And you may notice that the P20 Pro now has a much wider field of view. One of the viewers in my other video for the P20 Pro commented that you could actually get a wider field of view from the front facing camera. And I wasn't sure of any kind of settings to do that, so I was just playing around. And I noticed when I actually turned on beauty mode on the front facing camera is when I got a wider field of view from it. So for some reason, when you turn off beauty mode on the front facing camera for the P20 Pro, it actually crops in on the camera for some reason. And so beauty mode is now on on the P20 Pro and I've set that setting to zero so you can see what that looks like here. But now the field of view, field, field of view seems to be pretty much the same on each of these front facing cameras. And I also wanted to talk about maybe just a few clarifications as well as my thoughts on how each of these cameras performed. So first off, in the beginning footage on the front facing video of this particular video here, I said that the video quality looks pretty much the same between these two cameras. And that was true when I was looking at the viewfinder, but once I offloaded the footage, uh, pretty much you could probably see, and it's pretty clear to at least me, that the Mi 8's picture quality in that front facing video is much better. And so while I do prefer the audio on the P20 Pro because it just sounds richer uh, versus the Mi 8, which has louder audio, but just sounds a bit more tinny, the picture quality overall from that front facing camera definitely looked better on the Mi 8. And also when I was doing the rear camera test outdoors, I also said when I zoomed in on the Mi 8 that the picture looked pretty shaky. And it really did in real time in the viewfinder, but obviously it is very steady once you look at the result, the end footage. And so clearly the Mi 8 is doing some kind of software stabilization there. So at least you're getting some fairly stable footage even when you zoom in on the Mi 8. And so as far as what I think about how these cameras performed, I really thought the Mi 8 exceeded my expectations, especially for being a much lower priced phone than the P20 Pro. I thought overall the pictures and video turned out pretty good on the Mi 8 and definitely exceeded my expectation there. I think front facing camera overall for both stills and video go to the Mi 8. I like the picture quality there on the Mi 8, even though it tended to overexpose into some bright sunlight, but overall picture quality for both photos and videos on the front facing camera, I preferred the Mi 8. Uh, to the P20 Pro, it's kind of washed out look there on those front facing cameras. The audio though, on the front facing footage uh, video, I'll choose the P20 Pro, like I said, I just think it sounds richer compared to the more tinny sound on the Mi 8, even though the Mi 8 did sound louder. And as far as rear facing cameras, uh, for both photos and videos, I thought the P20 Pro definitely did better, but the Mi 8 clearly, like I said, exceeded my expectations. I thought photos and video on the rear facing cameras on the Mi 8 came out really good. Uh, in both good light and low light, but to me it's pretty clear that stills and video still look better on the P20 Pro overall uh, for those rear facing cameras. And I think night mode on the P20 Pro is pretty much like some hyped up HDR filter that Huawei is somehow put in place. And so it doesn't just look good on night shots to me. I think you could apply those to day shots and it'll look really good depending on what shots you want to apply that kind of a really hyped up HDR filter too. So to me, Again, overall rear cameras are gonna to go to the P20 Pro, front facing cameras are gonna to go to the Mi 8, and audio I preferred on the P20 Pro for its richness. And so those are just my opinions, and of course I always are interested in what you have to say about it. So let me know in the comments which camera you preferred and why, and let's continue a productive conversation on there. And as always, thanks for watching.